Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Silent Core and welcome to my second division video of the day. If you missed my first one, I went over in extreme depth all of the skills, talents and perks that are going to be available in this game. So in this video, I'm going to be going over all of the emotes and then at the end I'm going to show you guys the full map and uh, what it looks like. Now first of all, let's take a look at these emotes. You can't actually choose which ones you have activated. Um, you just hold down on the D-pad and you can see the kind of pre-selected um, emotes. So I'm going to go through each one here so you can see it. And the cool thing about it is once you activate it, you'll kind of just stay in that pose for as long as you want. So we have a surrender, a salute, a save, my personal favorite jumping jacks. And there's also a clapping or applaud and then uh, a help or an SOS where you kind of wave your hands for help. Now I did ask one of the developers if these have any sort of impact on NPCs. So if an NPC is approaching you and you use like the surrender, for example, will they stop? and it will have actually no impact on um, NPCs at all. Um, so the only real purpose of these, I guess, is to communicate with um, either your team squad or if you're in the dark zone, obviously you're going to be seeing um, potentially hostile targets or non-hostile targets, um, so you can use these to kind of communicate with them in some way or show that you're maybe not a threat or something like that. We had some pretty funny moments um, when we looked in the dark zone. We came across another squad of people and then we all just started doing like jumping jacks together it, it made for some pretty funny moments. I do think it would have been cool if we maybe got to choose some extra emotes, uh, maybe we got to you know, choose our loadout of which ones we want to select and have a, a bit of a wider option, but you never know in the final game they might have some more. So next up I'm going to be showing you guys the map. Now bear in mind this is not the final version, I did ask several devs if this is going to be the final map and I, wouldn't, I didn't really get a solid answer, so it could or could not be. Um, I noticed that Central Park at the top is not included, um, so, however, I have a feeling that, you know, there's a slight possibility that that might be in the final game. Um, it's open to speculation at this point. But as you can see, the map is kind of divided into these little districts. Each district has a safe house. Once you're inside the safe house, there's a map inside that you can, can kind of synchronize with and you see all the side missions and stuff like that. Um, and there's also the base of operations at Penn Station. There's only one base of operations in the whole game, but each um, district has a safe house that you can... Um, kind of like the fast track to. You can also see the dark zone is highlighted in this sort of red area and the dark zone is divided into six different sections um, dependent on your level. And it's actually quite impressive how much of the map is dark zone, like literally almost a third of the map is a dark zone so it looks like it's going to be quite a big part of this game is uh, the dark zone experience. It's also worth noting that when you hover over any of the districts, it kind of gives you a recommended level bracket um, for you to adventure in there. Obviously, you don't want to go in anywhere too um, above your level, or you, it probably will be quite hard and you probably will die. So um, it's definitely recommended to stick to the kind of um, districts that are around your level. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know down in the comments if there's anything else you guys want to see about The Division. Don't forget to leave it a like if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more videos like this one. And I'll see you guys in the next video.